I can't do without music. Like, you'll never catch me basing it myself without music. Music is everything, man. It's a spirit. Music is therapeutic. I lock in my cell, I put on a good tape, and it, it, it helps me escape from the madness that's going on around me. My name is Robert Maffey, 088-3027. I've been incarcerated since 2004. My name is um, John Ramsey. I've been in prison for 31 years, four months, and eight days. When you get hit with that kind of time, you need the music to, to keep yourself sane. Yeah, music was the most important thing for me when I was locked up, man. It just kept me occupied, kept my mind at ease. I, I gotta do this bid. I gotta keep my sanity. I gotta be able to stay strong. So you need books and you need music to help you through that. That's all you really got. I, I was arrested for drug murder. You got 25 life, you're not thinking about nothing, you know, relevant to time. You try to forget time in a certain way. But my thing is, I knew I had to make a conservative change. And that's what I did. You know, the music was therapy for me. It's a rehabilitation for me. It was everything. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. When I turned 18, I went to prison to 24. And in 2008, my little brother got sentenced to 25 to life in New York State. And I had to send him a package. I had to take off the next day from work and go shopping around and uh, store to store, buying the different things that he needed. Now I carry this 35 pound box to the post office and standing online at the post office, I was like, there's gotta be a better way to do what I just did in 2008 than the way I just did it. January 2009, we got incorporated, Center Package was born. So in the beginning, we were inundated with letters from inmates and they would give us suggestions like, you know, you need to add this, you should add this, you should add this. And one constant thing that everybody talked about was music. People were like, yo, we don't have no music. We only could get music on cassette. If you can figure out how to get us the music on cassette, it will be a big seller. Jada Kiss, when we put his album out, and 2 Chains, they were really like adamant about seeing if we can make cassettes to give to, to obviously the, the, the jail facilities uh, uh, and inmates so they would be able to buy the, the, the product. But then like talking to sales and things of that sort, there was real no, way, no real way to get distribution and things of that sort into the, the, the jail facility. When I released a solo album, one of the things that I, I begged to the label was to please get cassettes for the inmates. One of, my, one of our biggest fan base come from incarcerated brothers and sisters. You know, it was like, how could we find a creative way for somebody who can come in, manufacture these cassettes for us, get our music to inmates, and when we could still, you know, obviously at the end of the day, profit from it. The Sender Package doing the whole deal with Universal, it's like a breath of fresh air, you know, that the inmates or those incarcerated is gonna get your new music. To me, that was huge. That's because, you know, most companies ain't gonna do that. They not catering to this particular market. Yeah. We make music for them, so it ain't. It, it was only be right for them to be able to receive it and be able to listen to it and embrace it. It's Cameron, Purple Haze, Nas. The album is Nas. The best of DMX. Def Jam's greatest hits. Little Wayne, Jay Z and R. Kelly, best of both worlds. Jada Kiss, The Last Kiss. They love this one. Jay Z, The Black Album. We have a couple of R&B. Divage's greatest hits. Stephanie Mills' greatest hits. Four Tops greatest hits. You, you just see a couple here, but we have a whole another room just filled with cassettes. We have the exclusive rights to distribute Universal Records catalog within the United States prison system. Eventually I want to do rock music, I want to do pop music, I want to do everything that Universal sells, I want to be able to sell. And I would love to have our whole roster of our artists, every catalog album, every new album that we can have, I would love to have it available for inmates. It's really up to me to decide what I want to pick. The majority of the old stuff that I picked are compilation tapes, the best of DMX, the best of Cash Money Millionaires, you know, we also have new stuff. We have the Kanye West and Jay-Z, Watch the Throne. We have the new Nas album, Life is Good. Um, those two were never made on cassette anywhere in the world, except for Send the Package. I got my Mob Deep albums. I like the kid Meek Mills. I got his new album. Another, another tape I just got was the Stephanie Mills' Greatest Hits. I like her. 
So Jada Kiss was our banger right from the beginning. We sold 250 of this album, The Last Kiss, between 45 and 60 days. We sold out of our first order, Jada Kiss, and had a reorder. DMX, greatest hits. Jay Z's, uh, Jada Kiss. You know, my thing in doing time, I always try to remain current, you know, relevant and resourceful no matter what. Some people give up, some people get locked into this. I'm not locked into prison at all. You probably can ask me anything about the rap game and I can tell you pretty much what it's about. They cater to the inmates. That's their main goal, is to make sure the inmates are all right. What's unique about the company is they lessen the burden on our loved ones. They take the stress out of sending a package. I know what these kids are going through. I know what these men are going through. I know what these women are going through. I know from being an inmate, so I know what they're going on, what's going on with them in there. And from being a family member of someone that's incarcerated, I know what the families are going through also. It's still a good feeling when you hear your name being called, you're going down to the package room. You're excited because there's nothing but madness in here. So when you got something good going on and you, you know something to look forward to, it helps a lot. It helps a lot. Everybody in prison is not guilty. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in prison is not a bad person. Like, you never know. Like, so it's like a big market, man. And it's good that they're focusing on the prison system because uh, yeah, it's important, man. It's an important market, man. Inmates are due only a few things in life. Packages are one of them. <laughs>